Hello, dear students. How are you? Do you know that animals have special physical and behavioral traits that enable them to live in a specific place? Let's read our lesson, which is Animal Adaptations, to discover some of these traits. Don't forget, the genre of our lesson is expository text, and our lesson is on page 136. Now, let's get started. What would you do if you saw a skunk raise his tail? If you knew anything about skunks, you would run in the opposite direction. Skunks have a built-in survival system. They can blast a predator with a horrible smelling spray produced by the glands under their tails. The special ways that animals have to survive are called adaptations. These include physical traits such as the skunks' spray and animals with bright colors and markings that warn predators that they are poisonous. Some animals can sense the smallest vibrations in the ground. Others hear sounds from miles away. An adaptation can also be a behavioral trait. An example of a behavioral trait would be birds that migrate south every winter to avoid harsh temperatures. Staying warm. Brr. Imagine living in a place where the average annual temperature is an extraordinary 10 to 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Welcome to the Arctic tundra of Alaska, Canada, Greenland, and Russia, home of the caribou. To stay warm, caribou have two layers of fur and a thick layer of fat. They also have compact bodies. Only four or five feet long, caribou can weigh over 500 pounds. The tip of the caribou's nose and mouth is called a muzzle. It is covered in short hair. This hair helps to warm the air before they inhale it into their lungs. It also helps to keep them warm as they push snow aside to find food. Finding food Every day, a caribou eats over 6 pounds of lichen. Caribou have unusual stomachs. The stomach's four chambers are designed to digest lichen. It is one of the few foods they can find in the winter. Even so, caribou still have a tough time in the coldest part of winter when their food sources decline. That's why they travel from the tundra to a large forest area where food is easier to find. When the melting snow dribbles into streams, they know that it is time to return up north. Insects in disguise Look closely at the photo of the tree branch. Can you spot the insect? It is a phasmid. Some phasmids are known as leaf insects or walking sticks. Phasmids look like leaves or twigs. These insects can change colors to really blend in with their surroundings. In this way, they are camouflaged from predators. It's as if they disappear from sight. These insects are nocturnal, which means that they are active at night. This is another adaptation that helps them avoid predators. It's hard to spot these insects in daylight, let alone at night. Water, please. In Florida's vast Everglades ecosystem, the dry season is brutal for many plants and animals. Alligators have found a way to survive these dry conditions in the freshwater marshes. They use their feet and snouts to clear dirt from holes in the limestone bedrock. When the ground dries up, the alligators can drink from their water holes. Other species benefit from these water holes too. Plants grow there. Other animals find water to survive the dry season. However, the animals that visit alligator holes become easy prey. The normally motionless alligator may pounce on them without warning. But luckily, alligators eat only a few times each month. Many animals take their chances and revisit the alligator hole when they need water. 
in the end, it's all about survival.